Hi, I'm Stefan from Science World, and today we're going to be talking about force. So what I've got here is a balloon, and balloons are made of a thin rubber. Blow it up. So what we can do is we can apply a lot of force to the object, and we can see what happens when that force potentially becomes too much. That object can be destroyed. But instead of putting 100% of me on one very thin balloon, we're gonna see what happens when we put 100% of me across a whole bunch of balloons. So we've got this balloon board set up and I'm gonna stand on it. I'm gonna put all of my weight on top of the board. My weight is going to spread across the board and all of the pressure that I would normally put on each individual balloon is gonna spread across all of the balloons at the same time. Instead of 100% of me pushing on each balloon, we're gonna have roughly 10% of me pushing on each balloon. All right, so now I'm gonna step onto this board. I've got Kate over here who's keeping it nice and steady so that if I put my foot on it, it's not going to shake around too much, and I'm not going to face plant off the edge or anything like that. And I'm going to get that second foot up now. Get ready. We're good! I'm standing on top of 10 balloons, and they are probably very flat right now. This is something you can try at home, but you've got to make sure that you're very safe. You could use a table, you could use a board, and it's also very important to make sure you don't have your fingers underneath the board in case a balloon pops. All right, so this worked really well, but at Science World, we like to do things really epic. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this outside and I'm gonna show you a way that we can really take this demo to the next level. So now we are outside at the Ken Spencer Science Park stage and this is a bed of nails. So I wanna show you how sharp these nails are and I'm gonna do that using a balloon. Now normally if you sat down on one nail, what would happen is that nail would go inside of you. All of your weight would be pushing down on that one nail. Now if you sat down on two nails, you would actually have two nails inside of you, but the difference is your weight would be divided between those two nails. It wouldn't be all of you pushing on one. Now if we sat you down, if we laid you down on 200 nails, it might not be that bad. And my colleague Paul is here to show us that a human being could actually do that. You ready for this, Paul? Uh, yeah, I guess so. All right, so we're gonna have you lay down crab walk style okay. on top of the nails, just like that. Okay. And you wanna have your head positioned over the pillow so you don't have your head on some nails. That would be bad. So right now, Paul is laying down across 200 nails. He looks like he's okay. He doesn't have any nails inside of him anyways. But what we're gonna do now is add some weight. So Paul, I've got the shield for you. I'm going to put it on your chest and your stomach. And now we're going to add some more weight. We're going to add a cinder block. OK, you ready? All right. <laughs> so now we've added even more weight to Paul. What we're going to do is bring out something special for our grand finale. And that thing is a sledgehammer. So what we're going to do now is smash this cinder block with this sledgehammer on a countdown from three, two, one, and then the block's going to be destroyed. But we need to get Paul some safety gear. He can't do this as is. That would be horrible. Feel good? So if I hit this brick too hard, I'm going to be hitting Paul way too hard with a sledgehammer. If I hit this brick too soft, it's going to be like I was just jabbing him with a sledgehammer while he was laying on nails, which is also not good. But if I hit this brick just right, what's going to happen is the brick will break, the force of the blow will be dispersed, and Paul will not feel much more pressure at all. And you're going to get to see that happen in 
three, two, one. You doing okay? All right, take that off. Here, let me give you a hand. Oh yeah, turn around, show that back off to the camera. Check that out, it looks like a cheese grater. <laughs> oh yeah, beautiful. And that, my friends, was the Bed of Nails Smash. You can look up things that you can do at home on the Science World Resource site. That's resources.scienceworld.ca.